nacional que por derecho de la Fuerza Armada. No, la Fuerza Armada no tiene que tener derecho. No. A ver, todos. Hi, good night. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Happy birthday, is it right? Is your birthday, Rolando? No. No. Uh, September 17th. Ah, okay, good. A good celebration in the house. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Pupusas. Pupusas, that's Pupusas. okay. Anyway, we cannot ask for people to come, right? No, no, a lot of people in the house, no. No, no. Okay. In casa, in house. Okay, good. Okay. Wendy Cardona, welcome, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. <coughs> Wendy, welcome. Can you hear me? Let me check some. Hello, Wendy. Ah, oh, okay. Now, Hi. Uh, hello, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Wendy. Okay, let me see. Attend, attendant, right? Asistencia. Victor. Good evening, Victor. Teacher, how are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> I see that you haven't paid the, the light, right? You haven't paid to CAES. Como que yeah. no le CAES. <laughs> okay, Victor, welcome. Welcome. Okay, good. So let me see one more minute. Let's wait for one mi minute. Rolando, now you have new microphone, right? New microphone. Oh, see. Sí. Yeah. Original. Original. <laughs> nice. Today I won't use the, the headset, right? Hoy no vamos a usar orejeras, only. Ah, okay. Yeah. ¿Por qué, teacher? Uh, because I was using because I thought the microphone was not working. Pensé que mi micrófono no trabajaba. Pero uh, el primer día de clases me dio problema, entonces me quité los y funcionó igual. Así que vamos a tener más libertad de movimiento. ¿eh? Eso, eso sí, no, pero yo lo escucho bastante fuerte. Ah, ok, good, excellent. Sí. If I speak too loudly, you tell me too, right? Si, si les hablo demasiado fuerte, también me, me dicen, Peter, baila. Aquí le bajo. Ah, ok, good. Y a veces me emociono, así que. Okay, now let's start. Uh, to begin, we're going to start with the, let me see, uh, with the review, review. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the platform. Here, right? Okay. Let me see it here, right? Good. One point eight. One point eight holidays in the United States. We're going to make a review, like we always do, right? So let's watch the video again. Let's watch the video again. to a yes. special yes. restaurant. Okay, good. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, 
July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now we're going to check the commentaries. Commentaries in this video. Let me see. Special day, it says. New Year's Day is going to be, I will uh, maximize. Vamos a hacerlo más grande. Okay. New Year's Day is going to be on January 1st. I'm going to cook uh, chicken and many cupcakes. I'm going to celebrate this. Okay, good. Now, uh, January, right? What is the problem with January? Okay, capital letter, correct. Capital letter. Just give me a second. Um, okay, good. Now, and going to cook chicken. What is the problem here? Chicken, pio pio. What is the problem? Chicken. Uh, letter C. Letter C, correct, right? Okay, but the sentence is good. Now, Billy Peña, my goodness, Billy. When is Workers' Day? Um, few or curse day is May 1st. Mm, I suppose this is the naming. They give in the United States, right? Okay, but it's May 1st. Now, Billy, si ya se conectó Billy, vamos a ver. Vamos a ayudarle aquí a Billy. What is the problem with May? The capital letter, right? The capital letter, good. And uh, the SD is correct, right? You know the reason? ¿Saben por qué le ponemos este T, TH, RD a, a los números ordinales? No. No, no. Bueno, lo vamos a explicar ahora. Pero sigamos con. Alonso Tejada. Very good, Alonso. Congratulations. Children's Day is going to be on, right? On October 1st, right? October 1st is day or date? What do you think? Day or day? Date. Date with T, right? Date. Don't confuse day and date. Eh? Okay, let me see. I'm going to buy a gift for my baby. Independence. Okay, good. So, very good, Alonso. Congratulations. Alicia Colorado. Very good. Let me see. New Year's Day is going to be on January 1st. My family and I are going to celebrate it at home. Good, good commentaries, good commentaries. Now, Ann Alvarado too, listen. When is Independence Day in the United States? Independence Day is going to be on July, right? It's going to be, be on, on July. July. Okay, so le faltó el verbo y la preposición. It's going to be on July. Por ahí me preguntaban en un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que, que, que iba después del going to, ¿verdad? Son los verbos que aparecían en paréntesis. En este caso, going to be, right? Here, going to celebrate, etcétera, etcétera. 
Aquí, Simena Ayala no es de nuestro grupo, pero aquí cometió un error. Es una T en lugar de la G. Ok. Good. So, thank you for those who give the commentaries. Thank you very much. Now, I will, I will do something. I will explain something. Listen. Month and dates. Vamos a explicar por qué se le pone la TH al final. Let me give one more example. Learn about... May, June, July. Okay, pay attention in the number, right? First, second, third, and fourth. Pay attention. And then it says ST, ND, RD, TH, right? Why would you say that? This is like an abbreviation, right? Es como una abreviación, como un resumen de la palabra. Pero ponemos las últimas dos letras. Look. First, ST. Second, ND. ND. Third, RD. RD. And fourth, TH, right? Y de ahí todos van TH, 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 etc., etc. Hasta que llegamos al 21, ¿eh? Perdón, vigésimo primero, right? Vigésimo primero. So in this case is 21st. Again. Las últimas dos letras, right? Understand? Ahora entienden por qué siempre le pone estas letritas acá al número. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, Very good. Now let's continue with the review. Let's continue with the review. Uh, 1.8, 1.8. Nine, 1.10, right? Let's review the. The video, right? Now, in this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. You too. We are going to practice the conversation, okay? Repeat after me, please. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. I'm, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? How about you? What are you going to do? 
Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, let me see. I need to volunteer to read you again. Dos voluntarios de los que no me han participado ayer. Let me see. Eh, Luis Alberto. Hello, Luis Alberto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, me ayuda con la conversación, Luis. Uh, okay. Déjeme ver si lo ha notado en la asistencia. Permita un segundo, Luis. Uh, Luis. Alberto Frank, right? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Thank you, thank you very much. Y tenemos a Oscar Nefali, Guzmán. Es Casi no le escucho, teacher. Eh, now? ¿Hoy sí me escucha? Sí, pero yo creo que es por mi internet. Ah, está fallando un poco. Sí, sí, sí. Le, a veces lo escucho como cortado, pero sí lo entiendo más o menos. Ok. Hagamos una cosa, porque eh, es algo que me, me está ocurriendo. Cuando yo anoto la asistencia, doblo el, eh, la cara. Entonces es donde se pierde el sonido. Entonces, sí. cuando, cuando usted me ve en la cámara que yo doblo hacia un lado, es que, teacher, no le escucho, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí es donde... ¿Verdad? Eh, voy a hacer una prueba. Uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres. Sí, cabal, ahí, ahí se le escucha como cortado. Se, se corta, ¿verdad? Pero creo que su internet está bien, porque me escucha cuando estoy hablando de frente. Así que voy a tratar, pero ustedes recuérdenme. Teacher, ve hacia el frente, ¿ok? Ok, now, please, Oscar. You're going to be Tyler in... Um, ya me perdí. Eh... Oscar Guzmán, Ay. right? Sí. ¿Y quién dije que iba a ser eh, Mona? Yo, Luis. Luis, ¿verdad? Luis, ok. Sí, yeah. yes. Ok, Luis. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. So, Tyler, are you going to anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, yeah. I am going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to the restaurant, but I am going to, I am going to go to dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. Thanks to you too. Sorry. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Now let's see the commentaries. We're going to see the commentary together, right? Mm -hmm. Billy Peña, congratulations. Billy. I like that when you get commentaries. Okay. okay. When thanks. are you going to teach? I'm going to, to go. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, no. Where are you going to teach? The pitch? Oh, well, let me see. Where are you going to go? Go. Oh, what beach? No, in this case, could could be, uh, Billy, what beach? Que playa, right? A que playa va a ir? Hmm? Okay. What beach are you going to go? Uh -huh. Y luego sería, I'm going to go. Well, uh, to El Mahawal, Misata, El Tunco, okay. El Espino, etc., etc., right? Okay. Okay, but thank you for your collaboration. Okay, now let me see. Carolina de Angulo. Ana Carolina, right? Commentaries. What are you going to do for Christmas vacation? I'm going to go to my parents' house. I'm not going to go to a party. Where are you going? To? Okay, good. That's okay. Thank you, Carolina. Now, Alonso again. Very good. I like that. What time do you go shopping? Uh-huh. I'm going to go early on Saturday. Okay. 
the question is good. So the only thing is that you could say, what time are you going to go, right? Yeah, but it's also acceptable. También es aceptable, no hay problema. Then I'm going to go early on Saturday. I'm not going to go, right, Alonso? I'm not going to go in the afternoon. Aquí no falta okay. el verbo, el verbo. Y, pero me agrada que el not lo puso bien. Después del verbo to be. That's okay. Uh -huh. ah, aunque sea eso. <laughs> no, that's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Para eso estamos aquí aprendiendo, ¿verdad? O sea, de, si alguno se equivoca, pues todos aprendemos. Así que no se preocupe. What are you going to do on your birthday? That's okay, right? Good. Ana Alvarado. Ana María Alvarado. What's your mom going to cook? Today, that's okay. Look, she uses contraction. What is or what? My mom is going to cook chicken and rice. Okay, nos faltó el puntito al final. Y la C ahí, Ana. Por si ya se incorporó Ana María, pues aquí le faltó la C nada más. Okay. And Alicia María Colorado. When are you going to go? Huh? Sorry, when are you going to go? Holiday. Wow, well, let me see. When are you going to have, maybe? Quizás nos quiso poner ahí, ¿cuándo uh, tendrás vacaciones? Me, me imagino, ¿verdad? When are you going to have? Holiday. O, o tal ¿Cuándo vez, irás de vacaciones? Where, where? where? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? Ah, ¿A dónde okay. irás de vacaciones? Where are you going to go on, on holidays? On holiday, right? Where? Ahí hay que hacer la corrección, Alicia. I'm going to go on holiday. No, pero es que contesta con tiempo aquí, the next weekend. Ok. Maybe, tal vez podría ser así. When are you going to have holiday? I'm going to have holidays next weekend. Ok. I'm not going to go holidays tomorrow. Or I'm not going to have... Yo creo que el verbo have sería de usar ahí para captar la idea a, a Alicia, ¿ok? Good, that's ok, thank you. Thank you for your commentaries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Now let's go to the knowledge check, right? Knowledge check. We're going to do it together. Ok, now. Uh, number one, who are you? Okay, I want to ask some students. Let me see. Uh, Marleni, please. Marleni, number one, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Mm -hmm. uh, going to invite invite. To Thanksgiving is right? day. Okay. Dinner. Thank you. Thank you, Marlene. Okay. Going to. Remember, going, going to, to is G-O-I-N-G, -G, right? Going. Do not copy T. It's not T, right? Okay. Thank you, Marlene. Now let's continue. Uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mendez. Let me see. I... Okay. Elizabeth. Uh-huh. Uh, I... I am uh, not going to ask. Not going to ask. Mm -hmm. My family and some good friends. Uh, Elizabeth, why why do you think it's not? Porque cree que es not. Elizabeth. Uh, sí. Eh, Porque um, sería not. Ahí está diciendo que le va a preguntar a su familia y algunos amigos, ¿verdad? Si quieren ir. Ah, entonces es, es positiva. Es ok, positive. good. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you very much. Going to ask, right? Ok, thank you. Now, next one. What are you? Eh, Billy, help me, Billy. Ok. Going to do. Vamos a agrandarlo un poquito para que... 
también ya necesito lente, así es que a veces es mejor agrandarlo. What are you, Billy? Going to do. Wait, wait, wait. Going to do. Do, right? Thank you, Billy. Okay. Okay, then the next one, right? Let me see. Wendy, Wendy, can you help me? Hi, es Ajá. Aquí sí está el not, ¿verdad, Wendy? Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Yes. I am going to... Uh -huh. Pero antes del going, ¿qué vamos a poner? Don't. Don't, ok. No. Let me see, pero no, si, ponemos, si ponemos no, don't, pero no, no, I'm not. 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 Y el going presente to simple, ¿verdad? Porque estamos utilizando el do. Y no, aquí no el do. Vamos not. a ver, ¿quién me ayuda ahí? No, 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 going to do. Okay, no, thank you. No, not going, going to do. To do, thank you. Wendy, is that okay? ¿Está bien así, Wendy? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now, how are your parents? How are your parents? Let me see. Vamos a ver quién nos ayuda ahora. Mm, Josué, Josué Rosales. Ajá, uh -huh, Josué. Help me, please. Ok. How are your parents mm -hmm. going to celebrate New Year's? Going to celebrate. Celebration. Ok. Esta pues ya la hice yo sin querer, sorry. Let's go to the number four, right? Uh, conversation four. What is your sister now? Lorena. Can you help me, Lorena? Lorena. What is the answer, Lorena? Ok. Vamos a pedirle entonces a Katherine. Katherine creo que es eh, primera vez que está en clase, ¿verdad, Katherine? Hello. Hello, hello. No, no, Katherine. Eh, regáleme un segundo. Eh, regáleme. No la he notado entonces, Katherine. Ya sé. Ya sé. Ya sé. Katherine, no la había notado. Katherine Pleites, ok. Ok. Échemele una mano ahí a Lorenita, ok. What is your sister? Katherine? That, no, do. What is your sister do? Um, pero antes del do, veamos qué hemos puesto en todo, veamos. <coughs> Going. going to go. Ah, ok. Thank you, Catherine. So it's going to. ¿Qué nos falta ahí, Catherine? ¿Qué es lo que está en paréntesis? Yeah. Sorry. Do. Do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And to finish, Cindy. Cindy. Can you help me, please? Hello. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend, what? Going to take going her to out to dinner. Take. Excellent. Now we're going to submit. And let's see if we're correct, right? So. Very good, my goodness. Okay. That's it, right? Now let's continue. 
Let's continue. Let me see. Mm -hmm. We're going to check the PowerPoint, right? Let me see. Okay, this is the presentation. Today is very short. Only the vocabulary. Only the vocabulary. Okay, now, what is the objective for tonight? Let me see. Let me see. Rolando, please. Can you read, Rolando, please? Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasion. Okay, thank you very much. And, oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Vocabulary, right? Cars, best. Present, lucky, clothes, envelope, wedding, relative, pool, noodles, custom, custom. Good, now repeat after me, please. Cards. Card. Remember is the D, D, right? Card, the, the, the cards. Present, clothes, wedding, pool, custom, best, lucky, envelope. Relative. Noodles. Okay, now questions about vocabulary? Teacher. Yes, tell me. What's the meaning of best? Best is something you use uh, in a formal uh, suit. In a formal suit. So you have your shirt, and then you have a best, and then you have the tie, right? Oh, okay. It doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have, um, uh, I do not say this, sleeves. It doesn't have sleeves. No tiene mangas, right? Yes? Okay. I will ask you something, Luis. And, and this is, uh, I will tell you the meaning of best with this, right? But yes. Luis, I need you to answer very fast, right? Necesito que conteste rápido, okay, please. Okay. Uh, ¿De qué color eran las mangas del chaleco rojo de Napoleón? Era chaleco, no tenía mangas. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, thank okay. you. Now, anybody else? Other question, please? Do you understand? Yes, it's your mate. Uh-huh, this, yes, Alejandro. What is the meaning noodles? Noodles. Maruchan. Yes. The Maruchan has noodles. It's not a spaghetti. No spaghetti. It's similar. Similar to spaghetti. And it's in Maruchan. Okay. Understand? Yes? Yes, thanks. Okay, thank you, Leandro. Good. Sure. Another question? Question, question. Wendy. Uh-huh, Wendy. Teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, what's mean envelope? Envelope. That is Victor, right? Victor. Envelope yes. is, is when you, well, I'll have to tell you in English, in Spanish, is sobre, right? Sobre. Okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Now, any other question? Wedding, do you know what is wedding? 
Wedding is dan 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 dan. So wedding is the ceremony, the ceremony when you're going to get married. Dan dan dan. The ceremony, okay? Uh, according to the religion, for example, the Catholics, the Catholics go to a church, right, for the wedding. Uh, evangelic, they go to the to the congregation with the pastor, right? Uh -huh. That's the wedding, the celebration. One woman and one man together forever. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to play a game, right? We're going to play a game. Spelling, spelling B, right? I'm going to start with, let me see, with oh, Oscar. Come on, Oscar. Now we have card, right? Tarjetas, cards. How do you spell cards, Oscar? C A R, uh -huh. please do it. C A R D S. Okay. Again, this R O R. Okay. R. 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 Thank you. Alonso Tejada, present. Yes, teacher. Spell it, please. Present. Yes. P. R. Mm, R. P. R. E. S. E. N. T. Very good. Thank you. Marleni, clothes. Clothes. C L um listen Marlene. Oh T um H A Hmm? A, e, e uh -huh. e continue. E Letter no. S, right? Letter S. Listen, Marlene, we're going to practice at least the vowel, right? Vamos a practicar aunque sea la vocal. Listen. Uh, like A, A, E, O, U, right? Listen. A, A, E, E. I, I, O, O, U. U. Okay, now, I will give you some clues. Le voy a dar unas claves para cortarse. Listen, A, I say, A, 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 right? Letter A. Then the letter E, then the letter I, I, right? I. And then the O is O. Okay. And the letter U, listen, Marlene. U. U. U, right? Again. Okay. A. E. E. I. R. O. <laughs> U. Okay. Only you, Marlene. Ready? Ready. A. I no E E E E uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no I I I Go. I O E U <laughs> very good okay we're going to practice more. Now, let me see yeah. who's next. Elizabeth Mendez. Elizabeth, wedding, please. W E D D I N G. Excellent. Billy, pool. P U L L. Thank you. Wendy, Wendy Cardona. Pool. Yes. Pool, I say, right? Pool. Uh -huh. P U L L. Excellent. Eric Castellanos. Eric Custom. Uh 
custom, Eric. Eric, can you hear me? Ok. Vamos a la oportunidad entonces, Josué. Josué, please. Custom. C U S T O M. Thank you. Lorena, best. Va, va, best, right? Lorena? Uh, creo que el micrófono le estás fallando, Lorena. A lo lejos, al... Se oye un poquito, Lorena. Ok. Only pay attention. Eh, ¿Ustedes alcanzan a escuchar a Lorena? No, no teacher. No, casi no se oye, ¿verdad? Poco. Okay. Suave, suave. Eh, el micrófono creo que le está fallando. Ok, now. Let me see. Cristian Salinas. Bess. Cristian. Bess. B-S-T. Ok, thank you. And let me see. Um, Ana Carolina. Yes. Please, Lucky. Lucky. L U C K Y. Excellent. Alicia. Hi, teacher. Hi. Envelop. Okay. E N D E L O P E. Thank you very much. Let me see next. Cindy. Cindy Alvarez. Sí. Please. Uh, relative. Relative. Okay. R E L A T Okay. I B E. Okay, very good. Thank you. I would say review the, the vowel, right? But in this case, in relative, listen the, the vowels E A A A A A, -A right? I okay and E. Okay, now and the last one, Alejandro Mansor. Alejandro Noodles. Noodles, Alejandro. Okay, teacher. N O O D L E S. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the platform again. Let's go to the platform again. And we're going to continue practicing some vocabulary. Let me check here. This is the one. Okay, here. Just give me a second. Okay, special occasion, right? Let me see. Yes, special occasion. Word power, 1.13, special occasions. Let's watch the video, please. Graduation. Oh. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughters. 
graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work Okay, in our discussion forums. Good. Now we're going to give some After examples, you... right? I'm going to give you some examples. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm going to take picture for my daughter's graduation. Okay. Now, Mother's Day. Let me let me ask to Alicia again, right? Imagine what something you're going to do in your next celebration for Mother's Day, Alicia. What can you imagine? If you don't know in, in English, you can tell me in Spanish and we can make the sentence together. Okay. Okay. I'm going to. Para ser, um, Tell me in Spanish, no problem. In Spanish. La idea es armar una oración con la celebración del Día de la Madre. What are you going to do? One activity for Mother's Day. Maybe go out for dinner, buy a cake, eh, eat with my okay. family, buy a present, dance, eat cake, have a party, etc. etc. Notice, Alicia, that he will have, casi no se ven, pero uh, por aquí están, let me see, the activity, send cars, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, this is karaoke, I like karaoke, uh, <laughs> eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes, and you can also say buy pupusas. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, sorry, eat a special food. Okay, now, but say, I'm going to. I'm going to cook a special food. Excellent. You're going to cook special food. That's nice. Thank you. Now, Ana Carolina, now for Father's Day. I'm going to take. A picture for Father's Day. Okay, thank you very much. Listen, it's the most special, the best celebration in the year, right? The Father's Day is the best. I'm sorry for the mother, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, now, graduation. Mm, let me see. Billy, tell me one activity for, uh, imagine you're going to graduate, right? What are you going to do, Billy? The graduation. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go. I going to wear special clothes. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I heard you say I'm going to drink beers. No, no, no. Please. Don't do that. <laughs> Todavía no. No, no, no. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have children uh, in the room. Please. <laughs> I. I'm going to send cars. Okay, you're going to send cars. That's nice, right? For the Good wedding. Marriage. Let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, no, yes, but for, uh, sorry, Elizabeth, I don't know if it is a personal question, but are you married, Elizabeth? Yes. Oh, okay, good. So it's for a, a, a family member, right? Imagínense que un miembro de la familia se va a casar. No usted, no que otro miembro, okay. So, one activity, please, Elizabeth. I'm going to give a present. Okay, nice. Very good. And anniversary. Let me see for anniversary. Jose Alonso. Alonso, excuse me, uh, are, you, are you married, Alonso? Yes. Ah, okay, good. So you know about anniversary, right? The big celebration with your wife. <laughs> okay, now tell me one example, please. I'm going to sing song. Okay, nice. But listen, Romantic. when you say I, Alonso, say I'm <laughs> mom, 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 with the M, right? I'm, I'm going to. I'm going. No, no, no. Listen, listen. 
It's not I'm, 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 no, no, no. It's I'm, I'm, that's it. Okay, correct. I'm going to, I'm, okay, like I'm a teacher, I'm a student. I'm, right? okay. The M, the M, right? You have to, to pronounce strong the M because if you don't pronounce it, they won't understand. No le van a entender si no pronuncia fuerte la M. I'm, okay, thank you very much. Now, remember you can give your commentaries. In the, for this video, for the class today, right? This is for today, the class of today. Okay. And now, let me see. A doggish conversation here. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the next video, right? The next video is a uh, reading. Uh, what are you going to do on your birthday? That's it, right? Happy birthday to you. Uh, in Spanish, we say verde, right? Happy verde. <laughs> no, but it's happy birthday. So what are you going to do? This is a reading, right? So let's what go. What are you going to do? And pay attention, please. Some countries, I know it's the opposite. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do? Okay, listen. According to the video, we are going to practice scanning. What is a scanning? When you say, uh, tengo que hacer un, un scan del cuerpo, right? Scan is like, look in a big part, or in this case, in a paragraph, one specific information. For example, if I say, uh, when was America discovered by Christopher Columbus, right? And then you have to look for the date, right? Or when was the French Revolution, okay? French Revolution, and you say, ah, oh, let me see French Revolution, uh, 1789, oh, that's good. So scan is look for some specific information. Okay, and then we're, we have some activity for some people here. Elena Buenaventura in Madrid, Spain. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki in Kyoto, Japan. Uh, Jan, sorry, Chinese is difficult. Jan Chin. Chin Chi. Chin Chin. <laughs> Chin Chi. Uh, Taipei. Taipei. Right? Taipei is Taiwan, the capital city of Taiwan. And Philippe Jolie. Paris, oh, le marmoncé pour les bon Dieu. Very good, so in France. So listen what they say about the activity they do in celebration. Pay attention. Do on your birthday. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay. Now, questions about vocabulary? Do you know what is pull, for example? Yes? Pull is alar. We say halar, right? But it's alar. In this case, uh, in Madrid, in Spain, they pull the ears. Le jalan la oreja a la gente por su cumpleaños. <laughs> okay? That is the case of Elena Buenaventura. Huh? And um, in some cases, she said that they pull it one time, right? Solo le jalan la oreja una vez a la gente. Pero su familia es muy tradicional, así que 21 veces le van a la oreja. Okay? Okay. Sorry, she's going to finish like Dumbo, right? <laughs> at the end of the celebration. Okay, now. Let's continue with the next one. Oops. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Taipei, the Chinese. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay, so 16th birthday, right? In El Salvador, we celebrate 15, 15 años, right? 
But in other countries like United States and Taiwan, the, the celebration is 16, 16 años celebran, okay? And she's going to receive money. Ooh, that's okay. A lucky envelope means sobres de la suerte, okay? Si alguien quiere pasar unos cuantos sobres de eso, estaría muy feliz. <laughs> okay, from my relatives. And they cook noodles. For Chinese people from Taiwan, noodles means long life, una vida larga, okay? Good. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Okie dokie, so 16, los 60 años, right? The, for Japanese people, this is a new life. A new life, right? After the, the 60. And they call it kanreki, huh? So they give color red. Everything is red, right? I will accept a card, color red, for my celebration. <laughs> Okay, and the children are going to give a red hat and a vest, a red vest, right? Le van a regalar al señor un sombrero y un chaleco rojo. Okay, good. That's it, right? Now, Philippe Jolie. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. So for Philippe, just give me a second here. Wait a minute. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome everybody. How are you? Sorry, sorry. Hicimos algo acá que no tenía que hacer. Give me a second. Um, yes. Give me a second. Vamos a, a dejar de compartir por un ratito, que no sé qué dice aquí. Okay. Yes. Yes, hoy sí estamos de nuevo. Vamos a compartir. Yes. Okay. Now, do you have questions about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary? No? Okay. So if no, not, no. we're going to finish the class with a... Uh, with a knowledge check, right? A knowledge check. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm going to do something here. Here, the knowledge check, right? I'm going to explain how to work, how to make the knowledge check, and you're going to do it. And tomorrow, we're going to check it, right? Remember, tomorrow we have classes. We have classes tomorrow. Next week is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? Every week. But this week is the exception. Recuerden que esta semana es la excepción, porque comenzamos martes. Pero el curso es regular es de lunes a jueves. But this week, Friday, right? Este, esta semana tenemos clases los viernes. Okay, listen. Read the article, then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. So simple, read again. Here, you're going to read part by part. For example, Elena Buenaventura. Yes. To read about her celebration and read this sentence. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. Le van a jalar la oreja 21 veces. 21 veces. No, don't, don't say the answer yet, please. Don't say the answer. No me digan todavía la respuesta. <laughs> todavía no. So, is true or is false? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, right? Then... Jan, 
Then she see she she. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so she's going to cook some noodle. Then she 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 is going to cook the noodle right for her birthday. True or false? Okay. False. Oh. No no no! Don't say. Sorry. Tomorrow, tomorrow, right? <laughs> Mr. Okay. and Mrs. Aoki, Aoki, on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive, uh, le falta una e, pero, okay, receive something red. Is true or false? Something red, true or false. And finally, my French friend, Philippe, is going to take him, uh, let me see, Philippe's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. Los amigos lo van a sacar a él. O él va a sacar a los amigos. Mm, I don't know. So you say true and false. Okay? Okay. Yes. Remember something, right? Uh, I'm going to stop sharing, right? Remember something, right? Uh, we have five sections. Para los que no escucharon la explicación la vez pasada, tenemos cinco secciones. Y esas secciones las vamos dividiendo en puntos, 1.5, 1.7. Ok. Uh, acabamos de terminar la primera sección. Ok. Entonces, hay, hay tres ejercicios, como tres laboratorios. No le cheque que ustedes ya tienen que terminar. Ok. Vamos a comenzar mañana la sección 2. La sección 2. ¿Pueden ustedes adelantarse? Sí, pueden. Claro que pueden. Si ustedes... Eh, Quieren adelantarse los temas, pueden hacerlo. O si quieren recibir primero la clase, la explicación, perfecto, como ustedes gusten. Pero lo ideal es que antes de la clase, ustedes lean, practiquen. ¿Ok? Y cuando ya estemos en la clase, pues ya les sea más fácil. Si no entiendo algo, ¿qué voy a hacer? Bueno, le voy a escribir al teacher en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y ahí, cuando yo le responda, los demás van, ah, sí era. ¿verdad? Generalmente, la más difícil es que uno pregunta y los, los demás tampoco entienden esa, porque es entonces cuando yo pregunto a los demás, ah, sí, esa me costó a mí también. Y ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp lo hacemos. Eh, recuérdense también que para ayudas técnicas tenemos a los compañeros, ¿verdad? Por ahí les, eh, ellos les, les pasaron el, el teléfono de la oficina y los teléfonos de ellos para que ustedes puedan contactar si tienen algún problema de conexión o, o se les perdió el el password o algo técnico que ustedes tengan por ahí. Okay. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de terminar? No. 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 Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Have a very good night. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, good, night. Tomorrow. good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Bye-bye.